The Ambitious Sky City Project, proposed by Broad Sustainable Building, a subsidiary of the Broad Group, aimed to achieve the impossible, constructing the world's tallest building in just 90 days. This proposal, while bold and highly innovative, was met with skepticism by many in the architectural and engineering communities. Located in Changsha, Hunan Province, China, Sky City was designed to stand at a staggering 838 meters, 2,749 feet, tall, far surpassing the current tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, which stands at 828 meters. If completed, Sky City would have not only claimed the title of the tallest skyscraper, but would have done so at an unprecedented pace. Broad Sustainable Buildings Vision Sky City was conceived as a vertical city capable of housing a population of around 30,000 people. Its design incorporated cutting-edge prefab technology, aiming to speed up the construction process by assembling the building's structure from prefabricated modules. Broad Sustainable Building claimed they could assemble five floors per day, a remarkable feat that would have dramatically reduced construction time compared to traditional skyscrapers, which often take several years to complete. The key to this rapid construction was the use of prefabricated steel modules, designed to be assembled at the construction site like a giant jigsaw puzzle. This modular design was expected to save significant time on site, with the initial estimates projecting a total construction period of 90 days. However, this did not include the time needed to manufacture the components off-site, which would have added another 120 days to the timeline, bringing the total construction time to approximately 210 days. Materials and Design Broad Group's approach to building Sky City revolved around the use of steel rather than concrete, which typically requires more time for on-site pouring and curing. It was estimated that the project would require around 270,000 tons of steel, far more than what was used in the Burj Khalifa, which employed approximately 43,000 tons. The high use of steel was meant to ensure the tower's structural integrity and speed of assembly. However, this raised concerns among structural engineers who worried about the building's stability due to the relative flexibility of steel compared to concrete. Despite these concerns, the design of Sky City was focused on sustainability and energy efficiency. The tower was planned to feature a variety of eco-friendly elements, such as 15 centimeters, six inches, of insulation in the walls and quadruple glazed windows that would help maintain an optimal indoor temperature. The building was designed to use 80% less energy than conventional skyscrapers due to its advanced insulation, energy-efficient lighting systems, primarily LED, and elevators designed to generate electricity during their ascent and descent. Size and Functionality Sky City was designed to be not just a skyscraper, but a fully functioning city. With a planned total of 220 floors, it was envisioned as an enormous mixed-use structure. Over 83% of the building was dedicated to residential purposes, offering apartments for more than 4,000 families. In addition, the building would feature a hotel that could accommodate up to 1,000 guests, along with schools, hospitals, daycare centers, supermarkets, and retail stores on the lower floors. The top floors were intended to house restaurants and offer spectacular views of Changsha City, while the building's amenities would also include 10 tennis courts, six basketball courts, and multiple helipads for emergency evacuations. The vast size of the structure was another aspect that made it unique. Sky City would have spanned over 1 million square meters, about 250 acres, making it more than three times the size of the Burj Khalifa in terms of usable space. This would have made the building not just a place to live, but an entire self-sustaining community with nearly every service and facility imaginable. Transportation and elevators. Given its monumental size, getting people around Sky City efficiently would have been a priority. The building was designed to feature 104 high-speed elevators, which would have been capable of transporting people from the bottom to the top in just a few minutes. Although the specific speed of these elevators was not confirmed, 
they would likely have reached speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, around 35 miles per hour, similar to those in other megastructures like the Burj Khalifa. With so many people living and working within the building, an effective elevator system was crucial to maintaining accessibility and efficiency. Broad Group claimed that the system would be fast enough to avoid bottlenecks and long waits, a common issue in other large skyscrapers. This would have been particularly important for residents and workers who would need to commute across the building's vast expanse daily. Economic and Environmental Aspects One of the most striking aspects of Sky City was its projected cost. Broad Group claimed the building would be constructed for just 9 billion RMB, about 1.6 billion USD, which seemed remarkably affordable considering the sheer scale of the project. In comparison, the Burj Khalifa, which is only slightly shorter than Sky City, cost around 1.5 billion US dollars for just one third of the floor space. This cost saving was attributed to the use of prefabricated modules and the faster construction process. However, questions were raised about whether such a grand design could truly be built at such a low cost, especially when considering the materials and labor involved. In addition to its cost efficiency, Sky City was touted as a highly sustainable structure. The building was designed with a central vacuum system to filter out harmful particulate matter, PM 2.5, providing healthier air inside the building than outside. It would also have utilized renewable energy sources such as solar panels to further reduce its carbon footprint. The aim was to create a structure that was not only cost-effective, but also environmentally responsible. Environmental Concerns and Controversies Despite the innovative design and promises of sustainability, Sky City faced significant environmental opposition. The proposed location of the tower was in the Days Lake Wetlands, a vital ecological area home to a number of protected species, including the critically endangered Siberian white crane. Environmental groups raised concerns that the construction of such a massive structure would disrupt the delicate balance of the wetlands, particularly during the crane's migratory season. The protests and petitions that followed led to the Chinese government declaring a no construction zone over the 200 square kilometers 125 square miles of wetlands, halting the project. In 2016, it was reported that the project was being postponed indefinitely, likely due to a combination of environmental concerns and bureaucratic hurdles. Broad Group, however, maintained that they were committed to completing Sky City and were even searching for alternative sites for the project. In the broader context of architectural innovation, Sky City remains an ambitious example of what is possible with modern construction technology. The proposed building represents an intersection of prefabrication, sustainability, and vertical living that could one day define future cities. However, the many challenges and obstacles faced by the project, from environmental concerns to engineering hurdles, highlight the difficulties of realizing such bold visions. Whether Sky City will ever be built remains uncertain, but its conceptual impact on urban development continues to inspire discussions about the future of skyscraper design, sustainable cities, and rapid construction technologies.